Chapter 20 There happened to be there a base fellow, whose name was Sheba, the son of Bichri, a Benjamite. And he blew the trumpet and said, We have no portion in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to his tents, Israel. So all the men of Israel went up from following David, and followed Sheba, the son of Bichri. But the men of Judah joined with their king, from the Jordan even to Jerusalem. David came to his house at Jerusalem, and the king took the ten women, his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them in custody, and provided them with sustenance, but didn't go into them. So they were shut up to the day of their death, living in widowhood. Then the king said to Amasa, Call the men of Judah together within three days to be present here. So Amasa went to call the men of Judah together, but he stayed longer than the set time which he had appointed him. David said to Abishai, Now will Sheba the son of Bichri do us more harm than did Absalom. Take your lord's servants and pursue after him, lest he get to the fortified cities and escape out of our sight. There went out after him Joab's men, and the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and all the mighty men, and they went out of Jerusalem to pursue after Sheba the son of Bichri. When they were at the great stone which is in Gibeon, Amasa came to meet them. Joab was girded with his apparel of war that he had put on, and thereon was a sash with a sword fastened on his loins in the sheath, and as he went forth it fell out. Joab said to Amasa, Is it well with you, my brother? Joab took Amasa by the beard with his right hand to kiss him, but Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand, so he struck him in the body and shed out his bowels to the ground, and didn't strike him again, and he died. Joab and Abishai his brother pursued after Sheba the son of Bichri. There stood by him one of Joab's young men, and said, He who favors Joab, and he who is for David, let him follow Joab. Amasa lay wallowing in his blood in the midst of the highway. When the man saw that all the people stood still, he carried Amasa out of the highway into a field and cast a garment over him, when he saw that everyone who came by him stood still. When he was removed out of the highway, all the people went on after Joab to pursue after Sheba the son of Bichri. He went through all the tribes of Israel to Abel and to Beth Micah and all the Barites, and they were gathered together and went also after him. They came and besieged him in Abel of Beth Micah, and they cast up a mound against the city, and it stood against the rampart. And all the people who were with Joab battered the wall to throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city, Hear, hear! Please say to Joab, Come near here, that I may speak with you. He came near to her, and the woman said, Are you Joab? He answered, I am. Then she said to him, Hear the words of your handmaid. He answered, I do hear. Then she spoke, saying, They used to speak in the old time, saying, They shall surely ask counsel at Abel, and so they ended the matter. I am of those who are peaceable and faithful in Israel. You seek to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why will you swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? Joab answered, Far be it, far be it from me, that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not so, but a man of the hill country of Ephraim, Sheba the son of Bichri by name, has lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. The woman said to Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to you over the wall. Then the woman went to all the people in her wisdom. They cut off the head of Sheba the son of Bichri and threw it out to Joab. He blew the trumpet, and they were dispersed from the city, every man to his tent. Joab returned to Jerusalem to the king. Now Joab was over all the host of Israel, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was over all the Cherethites and over the Pelethites, and Adoram was over the men subject to forced labor, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud was the recorder, and Sheba was the scribe, and Zadok and Abiathar were priests, and also Ira the Jarite was the chief minister to David.
This is the third time I am coming to you. At the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I have said beforehand, and I do say beforehand, as when I was present the second time. So now, being absent, I write to those who have sinned before now, and to all the rest, that if I come again I will not spare. Seeing that you seek a proof of Christ who speaks in me, who toward you is not weak, but is powerful in you. For he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives through the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we will live with him through the power of God toward you. Test your own selves, whether you are in the faith. Test your own selves, or don't you know as to your own selves that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you are disqualified. But I hope that you will know that we aren't disqualified. Now I pray to God that you do no evil, not that we may appear approved, but that you may do that which is honorable, though we are as reprobate. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we rejoice when we are weak, and you are strong. And this we also pray for, even your perfecting. For this cause I write these things while absent, that I may not deal sharply when present, according to the authority which the Lord gave me, for building up, and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers, rejoice, be perfected, be comforted, be of the same mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Chapter 27 The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, You, son of man, take up a lamentation over Tyre, and tell Tyre, You who dwell at the entry of the sea, who are the merchant of the peoples to many isles, thus says the Lord God, You, Tyre, have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They have made all your planks of fir trees from Senir. They have taken a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made your oars. They have made your benches of ivory inlaid in boxwood from the isles of Kittim. Of fine linen with embroidered work from Egypt was your sail, that it might be to you for a banner, blue and purple, from the isles of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your rowers, your wise men, Tyre, were in you. They were your pilots. The old men of Gabal and the wise men were in you repairers of ships. All the ships of the sea with their manners were in you to deal in your merchandise. Persia and Lud and Put were in your army, your men of war. They hanged the shield and helmet in you. They set forth your beauty. The men of Arvad with your army were on your walls round about and valorous men were in your towers. They hanged their shield on your walls round about. They have perfected your beauty. Tarsus was your merchant by reason of the multitude of all kind of riches. With silver, iron, tin, and lead they traded for your wares. Javan, Tubal, and Meshech were your traffickers. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass for your merchandise. They of the house of Togarmah traded for your wares with horses, and war-horses and mules. The, the men of Dedan were your traffickers. Many isles were the market of your hand. They brought you in exchange horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was your merchant by reason of the multitude of your handiworks. They traded for your wares with emeralds, purple and embroidered work, and fine linen, and coral and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel, they were your traffickers. They traded for your merchandise weed of minneth, and confections, and honey, and oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant for the multitude of your handiworks, by reason of the multitude of all kind of riches, with the wine of Helbon, and white wool. Bedon and Javan traded with yarn for your wares. Bright iron, cassia, and calamus were among your merchandise. Dedon was your trafficker in precious cloths for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar, they were the merchants of your hand, 
in lambs and rams and goats, in these were they your merchants, the traffickers of Sheba and Ramah. They were your traffickers. They traded for your wares with the chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Cana and Eden, the traffickers of Sheba, Asher and Kilmad were your traffickers. These were your traffickers in choice wares, in wrappings of blue and embroidered work, and in chest of rich clothing, bound with cords and made of cedar among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish were your caravans for your merchandise, and you were replenished, and made very glorious in the heart of the seas. Your rowers have brought you into great waters. The east wind has broken you in the heart of the seas. Your riches and your wares, your merchandise, your mariners and your pilots, and your repairers of ships, and the dealers in your merchandise, and all your men of war who are in you, with all your company, which is in the midst of you, shall fall into the heart of the seas in the day of your ruin. At the sound of the cry of your pilots, the suburbs shall shake. All who handle the oar, the mariner, and all the pilots of the sea, shall come down from their ships, they shall stand on the land, and shall cause their voice to be heard over you, and shall cry bitterly, and shall cast up dust on their heads. They shall wallow themselves in the ashes, and they shall make themselves bald for you, and gird themselves with sackcloths, and they shall weep for you in the bitterness of soul with bitter mourning. In their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for you, and lament over you, saying, Who is there like Tyre, like her who is brought to silence in the midst of the sea? When your wares went forth out of the seas, you filled many peoples, you did enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of your riches and of your merchandise. In the time that you were broken by the seas and the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company that fall in the midst of you. All the inhabitants of the isles are astonished at you, and their kings are horribly afraid. They are troubled in their face. The merchants among the peoples hiss at you. You are become a terror, and you shall never more have any being. Psalm 75 For the chief musician to the tune of Do Not Destroy A Psalm by David A Song We give thanks to you, God. We give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell about your wondrous works. When I choose the appointed time, I will judge blamelessly. The earth and all its inhabitants quake. I firmly hold its pillars. I said to the arrogant, Don't boast to the wicked. Don't lift up the horn. Don't lift up your horn on high, don't speak with a stiff neck. For neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the south comes exaltation. But God is the judge. He puts down one and lifts up another. For in the hand of Yahweh there is a cup, full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out, indeed the wicked of the earth drink and drink it to its very dregs. But I will declare this forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. I will cut off all the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. Psalm 76 For the Cheap Musician on Stringed Instruments A Psalm by Asaph A Song In Judah God is known. His name is great in Israel. His tent is also in Salem, his dwelling place in Zion. There he broke the flaming arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the weapons of war. Glorious are you and excellent, more than the mountains of game. Valiant men lie plundered, they have slept their last sleep. None of the men of war can lift their hands. At your rebuke, God of Jacob, both chariot and horse are cast into a deep sleep. You, even you, are to be feared. Who can stand in your sight when you are angry? You pronounced judgment from heaven. The earth feared and was silent. When God arose to judgment to save all the afflicted ones of the earth. Surely the wrath of man praises you. The survivors of your wrath are restrained. Make vows to Yahweh your God and fulfill them. Let all of his neighbors bring presents to him who is to be feared. 
He will cut off the spirit of princes. He is feared by the kings of the earth. 